okay so customer are asking to your waiter okay what i want a uh, this particular food okay now this waiter will be going to be a to your chef okay but you know when he is going to be a chef a uh, your waiter is nothing but one technology that technology is called as a servlets dot java so this is called to the your serve lets okay i am not wasting time let me write in the short form this is waiter is nothing but your servlet okay now after letter what happened that servlets when jsp are sending request to their servlets and servlets again sending request to your chef or we can say our nothing but jdbc or the java uh, or we can say as a mysql or the database whatever we have right are you getting we have the three peoples one is the servlets index i mean sorry servlet jsp and the jdbc okay what happened your front end purpose we are using to the uh, jsp you are uh, you are waiter means who are bringing data and again giving to you that purpose we are using to the uh, servlets and after that last third person we have that is called your kitchen or your chef which one are making to the uh, food are you getting perfectly so when it's all three will be a cover we call that structure is nothing but java uh, uh, and uh, what is that j2ee architecture okay this is exactly the scenario what we are doing now i want to go to inside of the depth also one by one properly okay for that purpose just give me the second okay okay i everything is over here only just let me take the arrow and let me go to the in the top okay so let's start our module number 10 j2ee architecture okay j2ee architecture for we are using for what purpose web application fundament fundamental purpose we are using that okay now j2ee java 2 means java j full form is what java platform enterprises edition j2 ee architecture full form is what java enterprises edition now enterprises means what enterprises nothing but it's a business level application like it is come to the e commerce or it is come to the different different business i'm not i don't want to be only including e commerce i want to say that different different okay so what is the full form for, for to the j2 ee java enterprises edition if you are not saying to it's no it's there is no issue okay but j2 ee architecture we are calling now it is the platform used to only build the web based enterprises application and it is the build on top java se se full form is what standard based enterprises application it is uh, oh, sorry sorry it is standard edition right and provide a tools that is called apis for developing scalable secure and reliable application when you are using only your uh, only your uh, html and css you know that time your application is not a secure even it's not scalable that's why people when after letter when they are making to their software they are implementing to their framework which one are enhancing your software enhancing your website are you getting so that's why right now we are using to the j2ee architecture it is it is j2ee architecture is nothing but we have one the framework okay which one are en uh, enhancing your websites okay j2 e e it's not a programming language okay now see j2 e j2 e e web application typically involves client side web servers business logic and the database okay now what exactly is these things i will be discuss over here okay i have the one diagram now let's go again back to the over here a j2e web applications is typically involve 
with the client side web server business logic and the database okay client side means what browser or the web, web uh, browser or the mobile purpose you know we discuss over here client side client means what let me go to the down again back okay client side see client means what jsp which one we can able to only see okay let's go again back to the up also okay now we are going again back over here now see what exactly over here client side means what browser or the website which one is the front end part right after letter what web service handle the request now understand whenever we are saying you know web server that time it's coming to the scenario that is called servlets servlets are helping send request and to the receive request to the client means you are better are we getting okay and even we called as a better also to him and can you just guys relate with this technology like servlets serv how we can compare with another programming language think about that you know guys when we learn php php also the server side scripting language right that language are helping php can help us to send data to the database and to the receive also right so over there we are using php and over here we are using to the a uh, uh, g uh, servlets but this we are using for the java java purpose means java programming language using okay are you getting servlets is not a programming language servlets also is a part of the java but jsp is the programming language okay now let's go servlets done now business logic process the data okay process the data means what you are jsp we can use to the a jsp uh, jsp not uh, we can use to the uh, java database connectivity and we can connect your database are you getting okay so these things we have and database means what it just where we are means it's like a mysql or maybe you are using postgrail or maybe you are using to the uh, uh, mongodb right so these are the uh, database we can use are you getting so whenever we are thinking about to the only the thing is you know over here i did not i, I didn't show you the fourth one that is called your database means your kitchen you have to the rack and everything right so that is called the database but i don't want to be discuss that i don't want to be confuse you right whenever you are thinking about your uh, architecture this full architecture we need to consider jsp we need to consider servlets and your jdbc java database connectivity okay now without wasting time let's go back to the again your ppt uh, your word file okay where we are over here okay this is exactly now this architecture again second point wow, okay wait 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 so the key component of the j2e in web application servlet jsp e gb enterprises java beans jdbc java database connectivity okay uh, there is already you have the notes please read properly i want to directly discuss in the uh, your diagrammatically okay i want to directly discuss with the diagrammatically let's go over here now this is you know whatever you can see this key part and whatever you can see over here architecture this i am directly discussing with the diagrammatically okay now see properly this diagram you can see this is properly the part and whenever i am speaking you know think about that you are uh, that uh, last di diagram i made it using by pain right one is your jsp one is your uh, uh, your waiter and third one is your what uh, cook right so see over here okay whenever you see the architecture about j2e java enterprises edition when you see this architecture it's divided into the four major category okay four so see first one is over here second over here third over here and the fourth over here now see the first scenario that is called what client side okay let me make pain also this is what they are saying client presentation right means client side client presentation means what where the client are coming and client can able to see right not so right suppose this is uh, and how we can make that if suppose i want to show anything to the client our html or uh, right not so html css this is the front end part the client able to can see okay same over here